Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Computer, what day is today? Today is Thursday, October 12th. That's uh, Echo. I got a second Echo. The This is version 2, and it does uh, pick up the voice a little bit easier. Of course, the other version we have in the kitchen works really well, but this is version 2. Got it right here on the desk. Uh, I'm getting this printer tomorrow. Uh, we had two printers and one died, so this is going to be a replacement for the one that died. And I should be able to hook everything up to this using the Wi-Fi network and uh, be able to print from my cell phone or and tablet. And uh, I've got the Chrome box not using it right now but when I decide to hook it back up which I'm sure I will eventually I'll be able to print to that and if you know about the chrome book and the chrome box it, you really have problems printing from it unless you, you have to print to the cloud and so this should take care of that uh, I just uh, President Trump today signed a an executive order that allows companies uh, to set up insurance programs across state lines and work with each other. And uh, what it is, its its idea from Trump is to sabotage Obamacare. They can't re Republicans couldn't repeal it, and they've tried every way they can to mess it up. And this is another way, because what happens with these plans that are now going to be allowed to be set up is some company, well, let's say Walmart, but some company will, um, a smaller company, they'll set up and they'll hook up with other companies and they'll get together and then they'll say, okay, we have an insurance policy for our uh, employees. The insurance po policies don't actually cover anything. You just can say you have an insurance policy. And uh, so then young people and healthy people will opt out of not sign up for Obama care. And what will happen then is elderly people, of course I'm on Medicare, uh, but elderly people and people who have pre-existing conditions, and I have several pre-existing conditions, but what will happen is those people won't be able to get into those and they wouldn't want to anyway because they actually need you know uh, doctor's offices paid for and prescriptions paid for and that type of thing so what will happen is that's going to take healthy people who were in the pool along with the rest of us and the young people and the healthy people will pull out and when they pull out of course they are not paying into it and that's going to make the pool of other people. That's going to make the cost go up. And that's sort of the idea is that uh, it's what Trump wants. Obamacare, he would have loved to have been able to repeal it. But he also said from the very beginning that just let it, you know, let it die, let it be killed off or whatever. What's interesting, this is, red. I've mentioned this site before, this is redstate.com, a right-wing hate site in my opinion uh, I've been following it for years from time to time checking in to see what the opposition is uh, saying uh, they have a thing here that uh, they got their video from C-SPAN anyway uh, today President Trump signed that executive order and uh, Senator Rand Paul, Republican from Kentucky, has been somebody who's wanted that type of thing signed. And so President Trump, you know, had Senator Rand Paul there and even standing next to him. But <laughs> Rand Paul was um, there talking to everybody, shaking everybody's hands, 
animated. Uh, I'll put the link to this right wing so you can read what they say. And you can also see the video. I'll also put just a click to the, the uh, thing to the uh, video. Well, maybe not. It's on C-SPAN. I, maybe I just won't do that. But here's the video. So, uh, the okay, i got to back up here, don't I? The president has not walked in yet. So, can I enlarge this? This, by the way, is uh, Senator Rand Paul. He has a... Uh, big following, but uh, I don't think the president, or uh, what well, we know, the president doesn't care for him and Rand Paul doesn't care, but just look at this video. So this is Rand Paul talking to everybody. The president is going to enter. Just take a look at, uh, at this. Look at Rand Paul's face, he won't even look at him. And he's avoiding shaking hands with him. And did you see that little look, see the little look from <laughs> President Trump at him just there at the end. So, I'll try to remember to put that link. When I upload videos, by the way, Sometimes I don't get the, it takes me a little bit to go back and this file won't be that big, but sometimes the files are so big I just go take a nap and it gets uploaded, but I'll come back and I'll put a link to to, uh, to that video if I can. I'll put a link to the article, but I'll try to put a link to that video. So I don't want to close that because I want to come back. Uh, John Kelly says to the media, I don't think I'm being fired today. So I can close that. Don't need a link to that. I'll put a link to this. You've got to watch this. These things are really cute. They're, they're uh, Arctic fox. And I'll put a, uh, well, I think it'll be here at the link. I'll put a link to uh, to it. It's on Huffington Post. Well, I think it's on, yeah, it's on YouTube. So I'll just put a link to the YouTube. Uh, well, I don't know what, I'll, not sure how I'll do it. We'll figure it out. Uh, I, like, I like, I watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos. One of the main places to go. A lot of times when I want to know how to do something, I just go and instead of doing a Google search, I just go to YouTube and do a search there. Uh, somebody on YouTube the other day was talking about this Panasonic FZ80. It's a 4K uh, Panasonic camera. But look at this. The uh, zoom on it is 20 to 1,200. And it's only four hundred dollars. It'd be worth having just uh, use it instead of binoculars or something. Rather, anyway, I looked at a bunch of the videos. It seemed like a good, you know, good price. It's not. Um, let's go down here to this. Where, by the way, this price of four, you know, four hundred thirty dollars. That the extra thirty dollars is because of this extra stuff, because I saw the price of it. I think it was four hundred dollars. So, uh, well, here it is from somebody else for uh, FZ eighty. For there it is for with the other stuff. But it's um, eighteen megapixels. Optical zoom is sixty x. And uh, I don't think it's water. I don't have any. I have two Panas. I like Panas. I've had all kinds of cameras. And uh, 
the FZ200. I think this zoom, if I remember correct, is something to, uh, here it is, 25 to 600. And uh, this is a nice camera. Now, neither of, one of these cameras is waterproof, and I do like to take pictures of storms and be outside in the rain or whatever. Neither one of the I don't think this one is either. And I'm not sure with a camera that is better, this is a little bit better. Although this one now, by the way, it does not do 4K. This does 4K. Uh, this is a nice camera for $400. If you're looking, uh, but maybe if you already have a camera, just get a, neither one of my cameras that I have have interchangeable lenses. I really haven't wanted them because I know if I get them, then I'm going to want another, you know, lens. A tele bigger telephoto lens or something, but again, for months I spent months uh, trying to decide which camera I wanted, and I bought a FZ three hundred, which is you know the later model of this, except the later model does four K video, of course. And like I said the other day, if you're watching, the camera died after twenty eight days. So I got my money back for it. And it's a nice camera, but I, and I'm sure I've had cameras since I was in grade school. I never had a camera break because I treat them really careful. Never had a camera break, but uh, I just can't find myself wanting to turn around and buy a camera again that did break like that because I'd always be thinking, you know, is it going to it spoil the fun? I think so. I'm going to go with something, go with something else. But I don't know, four hundred dollars for this camera. Yeah, I'll put a link to this also to this camera because uh, the reviewers that I saw on YouTube and they're much more experienced with cameras. They, a lot of the reviews I watch are people who just mainly reviewing cameras and stuff like that. And uh, they were really raving about it because of the price and of the uh, lens and because of the um, the lens and the uh, the the lens and uh, uh, for a camera, I guess a lot of it has to do with the lens and the capture thing and the ratio between them or whatever it makes it you know makes a difference we think like myself I think oh, okay well that has you know 18 megapixels and it has such and such a lens but it's and the, the sensor too okay the sensor but the way the relationship which I don't understand but uh, that has a lot to do. You can take a a lens, and if you get the right relationship between them, you have. And this apparently this one does does that. Kicks out great 4K, you know, video and images. So I'll put a link to this. If you happen to have one of these, or if you buy one, be sure and leave some comments. What you know, and if you review it, if you have a YouTube site and you review it or something, let me leave the link so I can come and. You know, put the link in the thing, and all of us can go and see your review or what you think of it. I think that's it. Going to end this for now. Uh, great weather here in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. We've had our heat on a little bit the last two nights. We have the air conditioning on now. So uh, I'll have my printer tomorrow. It's an inexpensive printer, but. Uh, I think it's going to work out okay, so I'll let you know. Thank you very much for watching.